Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Neil. I'm super excited because today I get to watch and react to two more episodes of Lost. I've just started reacting to this show and if you guys will indulge me, I'd like to take slightly longer here at the beginning to do a bit of an intro before we get into actually watching because I've got so much to say. Guys, this is so hard for me because I am a binge TV watcher. My normal pattern, if I find a show I like, is to take a deep dive in it. If I wasn't doing these reaction videos, I'd be deep into season three by now. But I am restraining myself, and let me tell you how hard that is, because I want to react and record all of these for you guys. And so I'm allowing myself two episodes a week. I'm not Mr. Self-Restraint Guy. So this is a challenge, but I'm up for it. I'm willing to, to do it this way. But that means I'm going to, my goal is to give you two episodes of reaction per week for Lost. I'm aiming to release new reaction videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't give me a super hard time if I don't quite stick to that schedule, but that's certainly the goal. That'll be something you can look forward to. So uh, click subscribe, click the bell, and you'll get notifications as soon as I release them. Man, Lost has got me hooked after just two episodes. I, I love how passionate you guys are about this. I've received so many comments already. Um, clearly, it's a show that has some serious hardcore fans and some staying power. It's been 17 years almost since the pilot came out. Um, but the fans of the show are as vocal and supportive of it now as they were back when it came out, which I think is so cool. I'm the same way with the shows I, I love, and maybe this will make that list. Who knows? But so far, I'm impressed. When I started editing the first two reaction videos, I realized I started to take notes. So I've, I took notes during the editing process. Now I'm going to try and take notes as I watch. This is going to become my grail diary. I've started a seating chart of the plane just in case that becomes an issue. I'm beginning to notice little Easter eggs that might become clues or maybe they're just like little fun nods that the production, uh, that the producers and the writers had um, in, in creating this show. Um, I saw um, the kid's name is it's Walt. In the, in the second episode, he's reading a, a comic book that he found. It's Spanish. It's an old school flash. And for like three frames, and I happen to see this because I was cutting that, that together, there's a picture of a polar bear in there. 20 minutes later in the episode, Sawyer's shooting a polar bear. And what on earth is a polar bear doing on this freaking island? Um, so many mysteries, so many questions. Um, I, I love not just the mystery of the island and will they get rescued and what happened 16 years ago. There were other survivors apparently that never got off the island. Um, I love all that mystery, but I also love all the intrigue with the characters themselves. I can see a love triangle starting to shape up maybe between Jack and Kate and Sawyer. Um, I'm fascinated by the Korean couple. I don't even know if it's even spelled out that they're Korean. I think what they're speaking is Korean, but I'm not an Asian language expert. Um, but that's just how I'm identifying them. I'm fascinated to know what's going on with them. Uh, Locke is a mystery right now. I don't think we've actually even been introduced to his name, but I know his name is Locke because you couldn't avoid it back when Lost was first coming out. There were, there were so many, you know, it's like, even if you've never seen Friends, you know the names of the six friends. Um, I think Lost was the same way. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm taking notes. I want to know more about Syed. I want to know a lot more about Boone and Shannon. They've got a really weird brother-sister relationship going on, and I feel like there's some really interesting family history there. Um, I love that there are some lighter moments that 
Charlie and Hurley are just kind of doofuses that are not well equipped for this, but but they're actually some of the comic relief. And at the end of episode two, we also find out that Kate was being escorted back to the U.S. by a federal marshal. She's presumably um, a criminal of some sort. What did she do? What's her backstory? Who's going to find out about that? What are they going to do when they find out? So many questions. I'm so excited to just get into this. I think it's time. So without further ado, season one, episode three of Lost. This one's called Tabula Rasa. So I'm trying to get used to the time frame here. Are we just, how many days has it been now? How hungry are people getting? It feels like it might have just been a day or two. Don't trust her. She's dangerous. I have to bring her back. So he's yeah, obviously talking about that. Kate. She's we dangerous, eh? Hey? So what did she do? On, My jacket pocket. Whoa. So it's right there. It's Kate. She's dangerous. What are you gonna do, Jack? What are you gonna do? What did she do? I'm so curious. She seems cool and nice, but that doesn't mean anything. Like, Pick first impressions pace. are so deceptive. You know, it's Sawyer comes bed. off as a total jackass right at the beginning. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure Last that's going to evolve. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. We don't know what it this is. is Australia. The dinosaurs? This is How about we talk about that other thing? You know, transmission Abdul picked up on his little radio? The first chick that said they're all dead. So was it another plane crash, or what happened? No one's going to tell them anything. Oh, they're starting to keep secrets know. from each other. If we tell them what we know, we take away their hope. It's a, it's a good so, point, but it's such a terrible way to start a new community. Keeping secrets from each other. His wound is infected, but the antibiotics will fight it off. What if they don't? Then he'll die. People will die on this show. Like, I'm sure of that. Down. Hurley's a sweetheart. Like he's 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 a sensitive soul. What's oh. this? Oh, Jack, did uh, you mean for him to see it, dude? <laughs> so are they going to tell everyone? Are like so? There's the there's going to be the the Kate secret. There's going to be the transmission secret. Oh man. I could see this group turning into factions really quickly. How many people are going to know everything? I suspect Kate will tell Jack about the transmission. And Jack at some point will talk to... Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I'm standing guard. I'll keep the damn gun. We should give it to her. To the criminal. Fine with me. None of them know. Oh, man. Kate didn't look like well, she knew what she was doing with the gun, though. Like, she didn't know how to take the clip out. She needed Saeed to tell her. So, I gotta think she's not a... Makes me think she's not a violent criminal, but then the marshal says she's dangerous. Oh, we're flashing. Morning. Morning. You were sleeping in my sheep pen. She's on the run in Australia. Good farm folk. You tell me why you're trespassing on my property. I ran out of money. We're an American. Canadian. She actually is Canadian, isn't she? The actress, I mean. So is she going to become a farmhand? My wife died eight months ago, Wednesday. Ouch. She left me with too many chores and a hell of a mortgage. If you help me with the first one, I'll give you a fair wage and a place to stay. Well, it's good if you're a convict on the run. Hi. Hey. We need to talk. So she's sharing her secret. The other signal. We well, one it. of her secrets. Anything else? Oh, he's given her the chance. He's given her the chance to tell her, tell him about the, the criminal. He's not going to let on that he knows, eh? See That's fascinating. Oh, yeah, she's fishing. She's fishing. No. 
man, he's trusting to to sit on it. Man, is Hurley going to hang on to it? I love how real the wreckage feels. Like, obviously, it's supposed to feel real, but the the... The, the art department did a really good job of making it feel like an occupied plane that crashed. Like, it's full of debris. It's not an empty shell that's just plunked down on the beach. Um, it makes a huge difference. Like, it really sells the authenticity of the scene. Man, he likes rubbing people the wrong way, doesn't he? I got it. Thanks. I got it. Charlie's being nice to all the cute women on board. Okay, so they are Korean. That's what it said in the subtitles. He's so controlling, but is that just... Okay, that's good to see he's got a heart. I mean, is that just sort of a cultural thing, or...? You guys hiked all the way up in that mountain for nothing, huh? Not everyone's good at keeping secrets. You know, I, I gotta go get that water. Oh, man. <laughs> He's, clearly he knows. I mean, how... She must realize he knows. Is she gonna kill him? I can't imagine she would, but, I mean, if you're desperate... Oh, she's stealing from him? No. You're hiding your wages in a tin can, Annie. I'm oh, it's hers. I, I thought she was stealing you. from him. Hey, Annie, why don't you just stay one more night, eh? I'll drive you to the train station first thing in the morning. I promise. Okay. Did he turn her in? And he's just getting her to stick around? I get it, you know. Everyone deserves a fresh start. He knows that she's on the run. You're not responding to antibiotics. He's bleeding internally. Jack's doing his best, but he's not going to make it. Kate's secret dies with him. I saw your mugshot, Kate. I am not a murderer. Yeah, Hippocratic Oath. You've got to do what you can do, right? So what did Kate do? What are you looking for, Ray? What? Oh. oh, he's coordinated. He's setting her up. What'd you do, Ray? What did you do? Oh. How long have you known? And who's that guy you were hanging out with? Oh, Mr. Locke? Mr. Locke. Is that the first time we hear his Mr. name? I think it might be. So we're not going to know what he told you. Tell you not to tell me? No. Mr. Locke said a miracle happened to you. Now, is he religious? Yeah, he's going to go walking through the haunted damn jungle looking for you. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go out in there alone. Not after the noises we've heard in Vincent? there. There's some, like, damn velociraptor coming after you. This is post uh, Jurassic Park, right? So everybody knows about dinosaurs on tropical islands. Did the group tell anyone about the damn polar bear? How many people know about the polar bear? Like, like that's almost an app. Oh dear. Oh. Just turn around. Go away. She doesn't speak English. You worried about it? I, I, I just get it. She doesn't know what you're saying. So she's just the official holder of the gun, I guess. What did she do? I want to talk to her. Tell me what she did. I want to talk to her alone. You want to kill her from the looks of it. You tried choking her. She got to you too. Did she mess with him after she got arrested? It's personal for him. It's more than just his job, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me the old guy dies. 
Oh no. That's at least manslaughter. Oh no, oh, well, look at her. She's trying to pull him out. And he's alive. You gotta get away from the vehicle though. Any second now, kaboom. Where, where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? There he is. Hey, Kate. Does she know him? Or is he just the guy that's been sent to get her? He's got to be a marshal. But it feels like he already knew her when he found her in Australia. I wanted you to make sure that Ray Mullen got his 23 grand. See, I believe her. I believe her. They really are one of a kind. So, where's the fugitive? In the tent? Yeah, but she's got that gun. Kate! She gave it to him. He killed himself. Oh, no. She gave it to Sawyer. What did you do? What you couldn't. Where did you, where did you shoot him? Oh, no way. Guys. What the hell, Sawyer? Like, if anyone should be able to use a gun, I figured it would be you. Where did you shoot him? You perforated his lung. Oh, man. Oh, man. I only had one bullet. Sawyer, you f*** up. I thought it would... Like, you should do a headshot at least, no? Oh, man. Okay, I'm glad to see Sawyer's not dealing perfectly with stuff. He's, he seems so, like, calm and cocksure that it, I wasn't liking him. I, I like that he's got some character. He's not gurgling anymore. Did Jack kill him? Yep, I think he did. Oh, is that going to be for the dog? Is that going to help find the dog? Yeah, dog's going to show up, guaranteed. Here comes Vincent. Hey, what a good dog. I know that Walt lost his mom. I thought that you should be the one to bring his dog back to him. What a good guy. That's hey, awesome. Well, he's a sweetheart. I want to tell you what I did. Oh, we're going to find out. I don't want to know. Oh, come on. We want to know. Kate, what we did before this, before the crash, isn't really... It's a tabula rasa. It's a blank slate. That's what the episode's called. Three days ago, we all died. Yeah, this is a we fresh start for everyone. Started. That's super understanding, though. Is this like the feel-good episode? I wasn't expecting a feel-good episode. Aw, he fixed her glasses. Well, this makes me optimistic that maybe people are going to be able to work together as a team a bit. Let's finish with Walt and Vincent. Big hug time. Man, we're practically in a pet food commercial right now. Oh, change that music so fast. Let's get sinister again. Oh, we're not supposed to trust Locke at all with that shot. What's he do? What's going on in that mind of his? Oh, man. That was not the episode I was expecting. I was expecting to find out about what Kate did in the past. But I can see that they can keep that a mystery for ages. And maybe they'll never tell us. Maybe, you know, it's all about the name of the episode. Tabula Rasa. Blank Slate. You can... A fresh start. So maybe, uh, maybe we're just going to keep that buried. Although... I, I think I know that flashbacks are a regular part of the show, so I suspect we're going to be going back into characters' backstories continually throughout the series. I imagine we'll find out at some point, but this season, who knows? Maybe it's not going to be for, for ages. 
it's amazing how much music can manipulate your mood, you know? Hurley's listening to a song on his Discman and everything is happy everywhere. You know, Saeed throws an apple to Sawyer. Um, the Korean couple is in love. Charlie's in a good mood. Kate and Jack have their silent friendship. Uh, and, you know, it, it just ended on such a positive note and then you just pull out of the song throw in a couple of minor chords and do a do a sinister close-up on Locke to end the episode and it takes all that joy away. It's not a pet food commercial anymore. All of a sudden, we're right back on a desert island and there's mystery. There's mystery everywhere. I'm excited because I get to watch another episode of this right away. Thank you guys so much for following me on this journey as I discover this show. I love that there's such passionate fans of Lost out there. I love getting your comments. Please do your best not to include spoilers. I don't want anything ruined for me. I'm so afraid to even type Lost into Google when I was like searching for a couple of images to use on the channel you know let me know what i'm missing uh, i'm i'm taking notes i'm learning i'm trying to absorb everything i'm sure i'm going to get the odd name wrong as i learn everybody but i'm really liking where the show is going right now and i can't wait to watch the next one so take care stay healthy be good and we'll see you soon cheers <laughs>